Hello and welcome to Bruce's Shorts. My name is Bruce Devlin, I'm the Chief Technology Officer of Amberfin and today we're just going to cover the basics of MXF. MXF is the Material Exchange Format. First standardised in 2004-2005 by the Society of Motion Picture and Television Engineers, it's a wrapper format that allows you to put any codec, audio or video into a file and then interchange it with somebody else. Now the very basics of MXF can be shown in this very simple diagram. Imagine a file, a big chunk of data. At the front of the file is a header. At the end of the file is the footer. In the middle we've got the body that contains all the video and audio information. And then in between bits of body we have index tables. Index tables convert time offsets to byte offsets. This allows you to do random access within the file and find the bits that you want to do trick modes. Now why is MXF different to something like QuickTime or GXF? Well MXF was designed by a committee. <laughs> yeah I can hear you, that's not a good thing, but in this case it is. Because MXF is owned, managed and updated by the industry for the industry. Whereas QuickTime is a format made by Apple, well, for Apple really, and GXF is a format made by Grass Valley, and although standardised, it really is a Grass Valley format. So MXF every year covers more and more applications. The bits inside MXF are key, length, value, coded. MXF is rich in metadata. MXF has a variety of operational patterns like OP1A, which allow different ways of wrapping the content up to get the best efficiency out of your system. And today, we're writing application specifications to optimize it for the applications that you need. I'm Bruce Devlin. This is Bruce's Shorts. Thank you for watching.